Good afternoon, everyone. Today's project video is going to be, as you saw by the title, installing a microwave exhaust vent. So I don't know how many of you, you know, have a house or have your, um, have a microwave, even if you have an apartment that has the vent built into the microwave, right? Above the stove like this. And for one reason or another, they do this. They exhaust right out of the top. What's the point of that? So basically you're taking all the smoke off of the stove top and just putting it right up into the ceiling. So that's what I'm gonna be doing on today's video. I'm gonna be installing a vent that goes outside to the outside wall and uh, that's what's going to be happening so thanks for tuning in thanks for watching please subscribe and like all right so this is the vent that i ordered and i got this off of amazon and i will put a link down in the description below if you want to um, order something similar and basically this is just completely ready to go in. So you have your vent, which on most microwaves, it's a three inch by 10 inch vent. And then this will be on the outside wall, has the mounting holes in the corner, has a bug screen, and then it also has a flap door, if you can see that inside there. So basically you just cut the hole in your wall, install this, mount it, and then this backs right up to the microwave. Um, some microwaves, they will have a little kit that you can get that will actually fit into this, or it will accept this hole one way or the other. Um, since this was already installed and it wasn't a new microwave when I installed it, I'm not gonna have that little adapter kit, so I will most likely just put some kind of a foam uh, piece in here that will push against the microwave itself. All right, so when you go to remove a microwave that's mounted like this, in the back there is generally a rail that they mount to the wall, and then there's some little catch tabs, if you can see that. So the microwave will actually clip onto that and kind of sit on that rail. And then up top, there's usually screws coming from the top cabinet, so you just have to remove those, and then the whole microwave itself will drop down. Ooh, hi. All right, so I have the microwave out. Uh, here's the rail that I was talking about that goes into the wall and the microwave just rests on these little tabs. Um, so on most microwaves, this is the vent and you pull this panel off and the fans are in there. The fans can be turned three different ways. So they can be turned forward so that it exhausts out the front. Uh, they can be turned up if you have an exhaust that goes up to the roof, or they can be turned to the back if you have an exhaust that goes through the wall. So I'm going to be pulling this uh, fan motor system out and rotating it to the back, and that will be all that I'll need to do on this. All right, so that's all switched out. You can now see the fans in here. And then uh, there was also the connector plug in there, so you have to disconnect that. I basically rotated it 180 degrees. Uh, that fan system can be rotated vertically, like I said, as well. So this is all done. Now it's time to start working on this. All right, so the way that this will fit on, you can see there's the two lower screws there. Um, this actually goes on the outside of those and then it'll go on the outside of that top screw so it's essentially flush with the top of the microwave so that's important because when you're doing your measurement up here you want to come off of the bottom of the cabinet here because it's the same lip as what's in the front and then the microwave sits flush to that on the side you're going to have to be a little bit more careful because the microwave sits flush to this lip but then in the back, there is no lip. So you have to add this measurement into your measurement coming out from the corner where I'm gonna mark the hole uh, to cut for the vent fan or the vent. All 
All right, so to get the measurement from the side, this screw right here is the center of the microwave. So I'm going to line this center hole up with that screw and hold it in place. And then basically go from the edge. Sorry, I the camera angle here. Okay, so that's centered. And then we are right at about nine and three quarters inches, we'll say, just to give it a little slack. And then this piece itself is about 10 and a quarter. All right, and then this lip here, if you look, is just about a quarter inch. It's maybe just a hair over. So we add that quarter inch to our nine and three quarters. We're basically going to come from that side 10 inches over. All right, so I'm flush against that wall. I put my mark at 10 inches and then the vent itself is 10 and a quarter. So I put another mark at 20 and a quarter inches. And then the vent itself is three and a half inches. So we will translate that up to here and get the square drawn or the rectangle. All right, so with this hole that's here, I see that there's a beam right here. Um, you can see the wire. So they probably fished this wire through here from over there and then it ran up to add the electrical here for the microwave. Um, so the beams are gonna be 16 inches on center, which is going to put the center of the next beam right almost right where this line is. So I'll have to see when I cut this open, um, how that's gonna fit, whether I will um, notch the beam, which most likely is what will happen, because uh, I don't really have any space to move it over this way. So, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so just as I suspected, that beam is, uh, coming right through there. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop this off. Um, this is not, you know, load bearing or anything like that. So should be fine. Um, you know, the drywall, everything's all in place. So it's secure enough. Um, so the next step is going to be, I'm going to drill some holes in the corners to the outside. And that way I know where it is on the outside. All right. So when you drill these holes through, I'm using this really long drill bit. And basically what I want to do is I want to check my level. So this is just a magnetic level. Um, you want to do this because you want to make sure that you go through both walls square. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time fitting the piece through there. So you see the uh, two holes there that I just drilled out. So luckily it came through right on the flat portion of the wall paneling. So that way I'm not really cutting into any of those grooves or anything. So that's good. All right, so the hole is through. Uh, you can see that two by four that I had to cut out. You can see the fridge and living room in there. So um, I'm gonna do a test fit. Kind of difficult one-handed, but uh, okay, there we go. All right, so that's pretty much uh, fully seated. So let's go inside and see uh, how far it's protruding from the wall. All right, well, that is uh, pretty much perfect. I mean, it's sticking out maybe an eighth of an inch just over, so that's that's perfect, just how it is. 
So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead of uh, caulking around here on the inside. I'm going to run a bead of caulking on the outside and then I'm going to screw it into the wall. Okay, so it is actually the next morning. Um, I wanted to let this caulking dry completely and then I also patched this hole that the contractors left. So now uh, it's time to put the microwave back in. All right, everything's all back in. Nothing up here. So you see the flappers up, and it's working great. Can barely reach up there. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this video. Uh, I know this was a quick one. It was just a little project that I've been meaning to get done for a while. Um, just something that makes you know cooking and using the kitchen a whole lot better um, every time we would cook something if it smoked at all you know we make bacon it sets off like every fire alarm in you know the kitchen living room so anyway it's done um, and I just wanted to find out uh, do you guys like these kind of videos these little project videos that I do um, let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to continue doing little little videos like this or um, just stick to the bigger videos that you know won't happen as often but um, we'll see just leave me a comment let me know what you think and uh, thanks for watching thanks for tuning in please subscribe and like and I will see you guys on the next video Aloha